Hello there, welcome to another video from ScriptKid Networks. Today we are going to learn how to configure a Windows Firewall. Learning how to configure a Windows Firewall is really important, because for you as cybersecurity analyst, it's a foundational skill that can boost your job prospects, especially in roles focused on network security. And when you apply for a job, it demonstrates networking knowledge and it proves you understand how to manage traffic and secure connections, a core cybersecurity function. Without spending more time, let's start to learn how to configure the Windows Firewall. Windows Firewall is a built-in security feature in Microsoft Windows that helps protect your computer from unauthorized access and malicious software. Let's configure it. Find Windows Defender Firewall and open it. This is how it looks like. The Windows Firewall, it's not actually user-friendly, and many people find it confusing. But we know networking and we know what we are doing. On our left side we have some options which we can use. For example, this is the option we use when we want to allow another program to go through the firewall. This is to turn the firewall on or off. Here we can reset the firewall. And here are the advanced options, where most of the people find it confusing, but they are operating the most of security features which we can manipulate. If you know you are doing you will make the security better, and if you don't it's better not to touch anything. This time we will block Facebook.com from our system. Follow my steps. Go to Advanced Settings. When it comes to firewalls the restrictions we configure are called rules. Rules can allow traffic or deny it. To not allow our computer to communicate with Facebook we will add an outbound rule. Here we can see a lot of things. Firstly it may be too much, but if you look more you will understand. Many rules are here, some are not operating and some are. Basically not everyone can understand what's going on here, but if you watched all of my videos it will be very easy for you. If we scroll on the left we can recognize some things. Do these terms look familiar? It's TCP and UDP protocols, I have already explained them. And the ports. Now to add a new rule and block a website, follow my steps. Firstly, click new rule. Now when this pops up, we should click custom and next. Then click all programs, we will ban it in every browser. We don't need to change anything here, just click next. Now, we will type on the remote access address which the rule will apply to. The address will be the IPv for Facebook. We will find it with CMD. The command is NS lookup. I have already explained it in a video. Type NS lookup facebook.com. This is the IPv for a Facebook. Copy it. We should paste it to the box. We can also put a range of IPs, but we don't need it. Click OK. And next. We want to block Facebook, so we leave this option like this. The rule can apply when we are connected to a public or private network. We will ban it in all networks. Now we just put the name of the rule in a description if we want. In big companies it's recommended to leave a description. We can see the rule is there and doing its job. Now just to make sure, we will go and test it. Cool the firewall is working. It's a great success. Great success. Now let's go try disabling it and see if it allows us to use Facebook or not. Good it works. Great success. Now let's delete it and block an app. 
To block an app it's almost the same procedure, we just add a program instead of an IP address, and configure it. This time we click program. Here you must specify the program path. I will tell you how to find it. Right click the app and click open file location. This is its path. Add the path and follow my steps now. As you can see we are connected in internet. Let's see if the firewall allows us to use Google. That was all for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.